Hello, um, my name is Anders Monrad. I'm from Denmark, um, and uh, I am a classical composer. So I've been doing uh, orchestral music and string quartets, uh, piano music for many years. Um, but especially during the last two, three years, I've been very interested in generative uh, insight to music. And therefore, uh, I've been very uh, interested in music for computer games. Um, but this project is actually not really a computer game, it's more a bit of an art installation. But it's my first humble attempt at programming both visuals and generative sound. So um, uh, when I'm getting better at programming, the, the program will probably be a bit faster and a bit looking a bit better, uh, a bit better and stuff like that. But I'll show you what it's about. Okay, so um, they have a picture in a 60s op art style made of triangles. And the idea is that um, the visuals um, have a direct connection to the sound, which I will play for you now. Hope it works. Be a bit louder. A bit louder. Whoa, it's not that loud. <laughs> uh, maybe if I do like this, it'd be a good idea. I'm going to go down here. Try again. Try again. <laughs> As you can probably tell, it reads like a score. It reads from left to right. And you could probably hear it plays three um, uh, like sets of sound, do, 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 like the, what the picture looks like. And then you can change the picture if I do, for instance, like this. Like I could, maybe I could turn up the color so it's a bit easier to see. sounds like <laughs> now you have one of the, the sounds going a bit down while the other ones stay um, in the same register so the idea in this uh, this program is that each of the triangles represents one partial of sound coming out. Um, every sound in nature is built up from partials, um, from, from sine waves. And um, what I've done in this project is um, that I programmed every triangle to represent one sine wave. Um, it's a bit easier to hear if I Make a slightly different with more triangles. Um, and another feature of the program is that you can change the the registers of these sine waves so it sounds a bit different and you can change the length of the sound
afterwards. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah. Very cool. That's it. Mm -hmm.